When it comes to managing a firewall from Palo Alto, if we have just like one or two firewalls, not a big deal. We, <laughs> we can open a browser, connect directly to them, use the GUI, configure them, and away we go. However, if we have a dozen or a hundred firewalls, we're going to need something more efficient to consistently manage all those devices. And here's the idea behind Panorama. Instead of us having to go and log into individual firewalls to implement their configurations, things like security profiles and security rules and NAT rules and policies and objects and network connectivity and all the details and routing, instead of connecting each device and doing that individually, what we can do is we can log into Panorama. And in Panorama, we can specify the details for security policies and security profiles and routing and everything else and then have Panorama push that out to the firewalls that we've told it to go ahead and manage. And there's some major benefits of having this device, this Panorama system, be in charge of the firewalls for us. One is going to be it's centralized. So we can set up role-based access control, very similar to what we did on the local firewalls, and we can apply that concept to Panorama. So we can have individual users, which are constrained regarding what they can or can't do, so the administrators log into Panorama, and Panorama interacts with our firewalls to implement the policies and the rules and the configurations that we want on those devices. So regarding what's centralized, we have configuration that can now be centralized. We have logging once it's all set up that can also be centralized. And as I mentioned, we also have role-based access control for our admins. And that way we can be very granular based on the admin who's logging in with what they're able to do, or more importantly, what they're not able to do. Someone once told me that to err as human and to really mess up an entire network, we need controllers and automation. Well, Panorama is acting like a controller where we interact with it and it interacts with the firewall. So if we made a change here, a sweeping change, and then that got pushed to all the firewalls, that could be devastating on a large scale depending on how many firewalls were incorrectly configured almost instantaneously. And the Panorama appliance itself, it can be physical or it can be a virtual machine. And it's supported in just a plethora of virtualized environments, including ESXi from VMware, Hyper-V from Microsoft, all the big cloud providers, including Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud. And when Panorama is deployed, depending on how many devices we need to manage, that's also going to have an impact on which version and which flavor of the Panorama that we deploy. So one of the primary purposes of the Panorama is to go ahead and manage our firewalls. And the Panorama has a deployment mode called Management where it's being used to manage our firewalls. And if that's the only function it's doing, that would be called management only mode, or it could be deployed in something called panorama mode. And with panorama mode, it still allows you to manage the firewalls. However, it also allows this device to act as a collector and what Palo Alto refers to as a log collector. And that would be part of the aspect regarding centralized logging. And in a large environment where we had lots of logs coming in, we might want a panorama device that's dedicated just for collecting. So for that extra device just being used as a collector, that would be deployed as log collector mode. And the M series physical appliances can be deployed in any of these three modes, management only, panorama mode, or log collector mode. And in this specific set of videos, I'm gonna be focusing on primarily the management mode where we're using panorama to manage our firewalls. And for the deployment that we're gonna do in the next video, we'll be using a virtual machine running in ESXi from VMware. And if you've had the opportunity to go through the videos associated with the PC NSA, where we configured individually the firewalls, you know there's a lot of stuff going on. When we log into the firewall directly, we have tabs, including the policies tab. And there's a long list of policies, including security, network address translation, decryption, etc. Also on the firewall, they have a tab for objects. And under objects, among other things, we have tags and security profiles for antivirus, anti-spyware, and the list goes on. And we also have a tab on, on the top for network, which includes most of the data plane stuff, including the interfaces and the virtual router. Again, the list goes on. And we also have a tab on each of the firewalls for device. And on the device tab, that's where we go to configure things such as the service routes and the DNS information and dozens of other options as well. And so we need some method for all that configuration that we've been doing in the past at the individual firewall. We need that option inside of Panorama so that we can specify all the details that we want to use and then have Panorama push the appropriate configurations out to the appropriate firewall. And the primary way on Panorama that we're going to implement these is through the use of groups and templates. And in this set of videos, I'll walk you through step by step getting to that point so we can push out policy and configurations from Panorama out to the firewalls. Now, one of the tricks is if we don't have Panorama up and running, it's not going to be managing anything. So in the next video, I'm going to walk you through the initial installation setup 
of Panorama. So I'll see you there in just a moment. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.